I mean, what would I like to see? I would like to see my mother again. That's what I would like to see, okay? The six month wait for a community struck by unimaginable tragedy culminates tomorrow in an expected guilty plea by the alleged shooter Peyton Gendron, who hopes to escape the death penalty by admitting to all 25 state counts. They may hope that such an admission is a mitigating factor, if you will, and they could then go to the panel that makes the decision uh, for the Department of Justice as to whether or not they seek the death penalty. And they could say, you know, we've admitted everything. We're not going to have to put the families through trials and so on. The anticipated guilty plea comes just four months after Gendron pleaded not guilty to federal hate crimes punishable by the death penalty. But according to legal experts, instead of avoiding a death sentence, tomorrow's admission of guilt could actually be what causes it. The state plea is an admission, and that admission can be used on the federal side to in fact convict him of a capital offense. So the judge has a tough decision here. Uh, the judge has to make it very clear to the defendant that he may very well making, be making an admission that could get him the death penalty on the federal side. But for victims' families like Garnell Whitfield, regardless of tomorrow's news, it still doesn't bring his mother back. Oh, I'm not satisfied at all. I mean, there is no satisfaction coming. Satisfaction is not a part of this. My mother's gone. Um, I mean... That doesn't even enter into the picture. Andy Payton, Channel 2 News, Buffalo.